Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe here. If you've happened to notice that Marvel Rivals' performance is essentially, well, let's be honest, it's completely in the toilet. Now, Marvel Rivals wasn't a great performer on the Steam Deck to begin with, but at least it was playable, even if you dipped into some lower FPS from time to time. But as you and so many other of us have noticed, um, all of a sudden, since the latest update with the new half season, um, Okay, it's performing like utter dog crap, right? And it's not just one thing. You seem to be having a terrible frame rate overall, terrible frame feeling and performance, but there's also these nasty stutters on some sort of a regular cadence. It's a complete mess. And let's be honest, it's not even playable. So what we have here are two separate problems. One of them will probably be fixed before you know it. The other one is a feature that they decided to turn on because it sounded cool and everybody seems to want to use it. But in reality, with a game that is not sporting a higher frame rate, a steady frame rate, that feature actually will tank performance completely. And this is exactly what you're seeing here. So yeah, if, uh, if you've had enough here, if you've had enough of this performance, it's time for us to jump over to desktop mode and fix this problem. All right, now that we're in desktop mode, it's time for us to do a few things. We're going to open up the Dolphin File Manager, and we are going to go to the Compat Data folder. Here's the full path right here. It is hidden by default. You can't navigate here unless you have Show Hidden Files turned on. And if you don't, let's fix that because that's a bigger part of the problem. Let's go here and see right here, show hidden files. And this is the part where I say, if you don't have your dolphin configured like mine, maybe consider watching my dolphins tricks and tips video. All right, so now that we're in the compat data folder, we're going to look for this particular folder right here. It's the same for everybody. We're gonna drill into PFX, we're gonna go into drive C, and then go into the Windows folder. Into system 32, and then down here to Windows PowerShell. Go into that folder, find the PowerShell.exe and rename that sucker. It doesn't matter what you rename it to, as long as it's no longer called PowerShell.exe, we'll just put an underscore there. That solves that. So let's hop back into the game and see how it works. We're gonna go back into practice mode so I'm not screwing over any humans. And let's see if that solved the problem. So what did we just do there, right? That problem is a debug setting that was left on, a developer mode setting by the team at Marvel Rivals. And uh, if you've got a really great PC, you're not even gonna see that, but essentially it's pinging the CPU almost constantly trying to get some debug information for the developer mode. All we did was deny them that. We denied them calling PowerShell to get that data. Now something still seems kind of wrong here. This still seems, um. All right, it seems sluggish as hell, but let's see what happens when we actually get into play and see if maybe it clears up. And I'm writing in mid, how can I be in mid-match playing an AI? Oh, whatever. Okay, it, this is still not fixed. I mean, uh, maybe the every 15 or 20 second stutter is fixed, but this, this is not playable. It's not playable. Let me show you why. We're gonna go into our settings. Somebody thought this was a good idea to turn on by default. So let's go to settings and let's go to our display properties. Look down here, somebody thought it'd be fun to turn on frame generation by default. Now, if you've been following along on Reddit, frame generation is sort of a, it's a little bit of snake oil, right? Especially if you don't have a game that's already got high frame rate and it's already got stable frame rate. We're gonna shut it off and look what happens. The game turns, well, it's not buttery smooth, but it's, it's as smooth as it was prior to the uh, upgrade and the feature change. So, you got that turned on, shut it off, Get rid of that PowerShell and you should be back in business. Look, if you like what we're doing here, like, subscribe, hit the bell. This information came from a variety of places, so I can't give specific credit. Reddit, YouTube, all sorts of people came up with this, so I did not create it, but I'm sharing it with you today. That's all I got. Take care. We'll see you next time.